A memorial for singer Liam Payne is taking place in Hyde Park in London this afternoon, organised by One Direction fans. The 31-year-old was found dead in Argentina on Wednesday afternoon after falling from the balcony of his third-floor hotel room. And these pictures live into us, as you can see, hundreds, if not possibly thousands of people gathering to pay tribute. Our correspondent, Alice Porter, is there for us. Alice. The mood here in Hyde Park is quite a mixed one. On the one hand, it's quite sombre, and we've seen a lot of people who've been crying here, uh, teenage girls who've been in, in floods of tears, many of them armed with uh, balloons, with cards, with teddy bears, with flowers, all wanting to lay them down and, and pay tribute to Liam Payne. But uh, as you can also hear, there's also, uh, I think, a lot of singing we've been hearing over the last couple of hours. As you say, uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of people have gathered here, and many of them really really wanting to celebrate Liam Payne uh, and the music that he brought to so many fans. And we've been hearing uh, many songs that have been uh, sung by the crowd that have gathered here. Um, and so it's a, a mixture of emotions. And what's taking place here in London is happening across the country as well. Uh, in Glasgow, there's a similar gathering of people, uh, Manchester and Birmingham. But it's not just in the UK that we're having these memorial events. In fact, they're happening all over the world, in Europe, in Lisbon, in Naples, uh, and across the world. Uh, and clearly, he was a singer that touched so many fans uh, internationally. Uh, but it is important to stress that for the family of Liam Payne, today uh, and the last event since Wednesday, since uh, the news broke that Liam Payne sadly died falling from a balcony uh, of a hotel in Buenos Aires. For them, this is uh, a very private grief that has been very much played out publicly. We've seen that the father of Liam Payne is in Buenos Aires at the moment and he will be uh, trying to have his son's body repatriated back to the UK. Uh, and we were hearing uh, yesterday from Ruth Gibbons, uh, the sister of Liam Payne, who paid tribute to her brother, uh, saying that the world was not good enough or kind enough for him. Uh, and I guess it's important to, to remember the family who are at the centre of, of all of this. Uh, we can expect his body will be repatriated back to the UK. We know the, the post-mortem has gone ahead uh, and it was concluded that he died from multiple injuries, including uh, a, a severe trauma to his head which was fatal uh, so his body will be repatriated back to the UK and then there will be very much the, the funeral arrangements uh, but for the fans who are gathered here in Hyde Park it is a moment for them to, to come together with other fans uh, to pay tribute to Liam Payne and sadly it, it, when you look around at the crowd here so many of the people here are of a similar age and it really just emphasises just how young Liam Payne was, only 31 years old when he sadly lost his life. Alice, thank you. And extraordinary pictures there coming into us from Hyde Park as uh, clearly the outpouring of grief and love for Liam Payne, who's died at the age of 31.